In my job as a drone operator, I subcontract to a company doing drone surveys. Now, what I tend to have is a load of drones, a load of batteries, and all sorts of stuff on the camper van floor. I also have to use my laptop. So what I want to do is I want to create a flip out side table on the on the side door of the uh, van so that I can pop my laptop on there, work on that. But I also want to be able to use it on the passenger swivel chair when you swivel that round. So it kind of serves two purposes, really. So I've been to eBay and I bought a pole. I have bought some lever bolts and I've bought a roof bracket for a roof aerial. And I've also been round to my old mate Colin Furs and nicked some scrap out of his scrap bin. And I'm going to turn that lot into a table. So keep watching, you'll find out how. Right, this is how I see it working. I want a permanent pole fixed here. I want the table permanently fixed to the van. I don't want to be messing about unpacking and packing it up every time because you never use stuff like that. So what I need, I need this pole to be able to pivot around like that. And then when you want to use it, you just fold it out, flip it down, tighten the table up and away you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fabricable some sort of bracket that fixes to this solid base I can then weld that pole on there. That one will fit inside it. Use the lever bolts to tighten everything up. Spin it out. Typey typey. Put it back. Away you go. Right, there's my template. That's roughly what shape I want. So I'm going to mark that out on this bit of metal that I got from Colin. That's probably from some steam powered food mixer or some such crazy invention. Should just about go in there. So I'll mark that out and get that cut out. Right, there we go. That's my rough shape. Let's get it cleaned up. Right, so that's gonna go on there like so. Bolt through there, and then we'll weld our post up to there. If you knew what you were doing, you'd use what's called a magnetic holder, which holds those two pieces of metal together at a right angle with a magnet. But I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm doing it like this. <laughs> I think they call it consciously incompetent. <laughs> Right, you'll notice that that is a bit boingy and boingy is no good for a table. So I'm going to take this piece of metal and I'm going to weld that underneath there and that should form some sort of brace. You have to come up with some ingenious workarounds when you don't have the right tools. I should hold it. Right, there we go. That's that done. You'll notice that I filled the welds. They were perfect, but I've, I thought I'd make them look nice and smooth. So next job. This goes inside in there like so. And then we've got to put one of these bolts through there so when, we've, when, it, when we pivot around to the position we want it, we can just clamp it off. So what I need to do is weld, a, drill a hole and then weld a nut to it so that, that can bolt through and clamp it all in place. Right, there we go. That's got my little nut on there. And that'll wind in there like so, and then act as a clamp. I filled it again. I am not letting you see my welding without any filler. <laughs> I'm really not a very good welder. But it'll hold. I mean, it's plenty strong enough. It just doesn't look very pretty. And that doesn't matter, because that's all going to be painted, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's that in. The only problem now is we've still got a little bit of flex in there. If you look at that, this bit's flexing. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll put a bracket in there to brace that up and stop that flex. Let's weld that in there and then that'll form a brace. Now you might not be impressed with the welding, but you've got to admit the clamping's pretty ingenious. That is some serious bracketry. <laughs> Look at that! That's got our bracket and arm made. That pivots there, I've got to put the bolt in there. 
What we need now is some hinges to hinge the top to this bar so it can flip like that, like that. And here's one I made earlier. So that just slides on there, like so. That'll be the stowed position. When you want to use it, flip it like that, tighten the bolt on. I'm going to make two of these. I've got to make this other one, and that's going to have the bolt in it. Right, so the way I've made this, I've used a bit of tube. That's just a big enough diameter to slide over there. It's a perfect size to go over there. In fact, it's a little bit tight. So first things first, we've got to weld that to that. Right, we'll put a cut through there, spread those a little bit, and that should bring these straight and make it nice and loose for getting over the pole. There we go, all we need now is to weld a nut on there so we can tighten our table up. There we go, let's get it painted. Right, it's a few days later because I've been another go at skiing, ain't I? And I smashed my face in, didn't I? Turns out it's quite a good idea to know how to slow down when you hit the steep stuff. But never mind, at least my paint's dry for my bracket, so we can get that fitted. But first of all, I need to cut a tabletop out, and I've got a little bit of plywood left over from the VW build. It's not quite the same pattern as my van, but it's not far off, it'll do for this job. So we'll get this cut out, make it nice, and then we can get this fitted. Right, you lovely people, while I sand this, it gives me the opportunity to tell you about something I've put together for you budding van builders. It's a link in the description, and it will take you to my top tips for avoiding your van build going over budget, because it's all too easy for these vans to go over budget before you've even finished it. They can turn into money pits quite quickly. And it's all for free. There's also an opportunity to buy my costings list, which is a breakdown of every single item you need to convert a van like the VW Transporter. It is specific to the VW Transporter, but it will translate across to vans like the Ford Transit and the Vauxhall Vivaro and small vans like that. The list of components is very similar. There's also a discount code in there from the lovely people at Streamline Beds, worth 50 quid. So it's definitely worth checking out. So go and check that out. If you just want the free tips, that's absolutely fine. If you want to support the channel, there's an option to do that too. But don't go just yet. Let me finish this video and then you can go and have a look. Right, let's get it fitted. Right, see how that works. Typing, <laughs> type that's all right, that is. Right, let's see how it works with the chair. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. I had no idea that was going to turn out as well as that. I have all these ideas and they don't always turn out well. But this one is a good idea, I think. That's going to work really well. I'm really pleased with that. So there we go. There's my little table. Don't forget to click the link in the description to my top tips on how to avoid your van going over budget. And I'll see you next time. And I'm looking forward to trying out my new table. <laughs>